Hannah Sports High um, was a was a project that evolved and was in planning for at least 10 years. And that really evolved from the AMU's inception, if you like. And we developed the brief and really pushed for it to be a part of the Major Capital Works program. At one stage, one of the cabinet ministers had described that this school belonged in Beirut because of the, the state of repair of that school. The, the feel around the school when you're talking to parents, talking to students, talking to staff, even when you talk to ex-students and ex-staff, they just absolutely wowed and blown away by what we have here now and what Hunter Sports High School uh, is, is now looks like. Um, it's certainly a big change from what it was. So for the government to invest into public schools and to provide facilities like this that are beautiful, bright, clean and open to create an inviting area and learning environment for students to come to. We've seen an increase in attendance. We've seen a decrease in negative student behaviours. We've seen a significant reduction in the number of suspensions that have happened over five years, but the facilities have certainly seen an even greater increase in engagement in student learning. Over the last five years, I've had a 75% reduction in suspensions, of which in the last 12 months, it's been a 50% reduction. So the new buildings have certainly provided a much more open, friendly learning environment where students have enough space to feel comfortable. They've got enough space to be able to be in an area where they don't have to be sitting on top of someone else. The classrooms also provide that opportunity for students to sit in a space that they're comfortable with and they're not just sitting at a desk in the same chair for six hours of a day. I think the fact that they feel valued, the fact that we provided them with spaces where education is important has had such a massive impact on my community for the better.